All right, as you can see by the title of the video, this is going to be kind of two things at once. It's going to be me talking about replacing the FPC connector right here. This will be my first time attempting to do it. And if you assumed the strong emphasis on the attempting, it may give you some foreshadowing there on whether I succeeded or not. And let me talk with me uh, the discount question, which is something I frequently get a lot, almost every day, in fact. And if it's not every day, it's usually every other day. And so, you know, I'm just going back and forth in between talking on them, depending on what's happening on the screen. And I usually don't cut videos, but it was a lot of times I was just sitting idle and not just doing anything. I was just staring into space and I just, I don't know, I just have a brain farts and I did, or I got mad. So, you know, if, it's, if it was just me just sitting idle for a while, I'm going to cut it up because the video was originally like 30 something minutes. So I was like, okay, I'm not posting a 30 minute video to YouTube. So I had to cut that down a little bit to make it, you know, shorter. I know people don't want to watch a 29 minute rant even i don't even have a rant for that long but now back to the topic actually i'm gonna talk about the video a little bit you know i'm gonna put a little flux on there just to help it get off easier help it flow and we're gonna get that off and um for the heat settings i usually turn the heat down when i was doing it because this is pretty small so i had the airflow on like 10 percent and i had the heat on, i believe 400 degrees celsius just to try to get it off and I'm gonna to try to just poke it from the side to like push it off. But uh, back to the question. I literally get that question like, oh, you offer a discount? Oh, can you go any lower? Can you do this? Can you do that? You know, I can't pay the full price. You know, uh, I I'll pay you back later. Uh, you know, there's always somebody who doesn't wanna pay the full price. And you know, when I first started my business, uh, when I first started, when I first put my number on Google and people started coming, literally the first customer I ever got who called me on my business number, they literally asked for a discount. Uh, they came here and after I replaced their screen, you know, after I did it, the XR, I believe I charged 115 at the time and I charged lower, pretty lower than what other people were charging just so I could get customers in because, you know, I didn't want to charge max. My, my thought process when I first started was like, you know, I don't want to charge, you know, what other people are charging. If I just started, you know, it'll look bad or something like that, even though, you know, I had the skills when I first started, when I first rebranded my business, I had the skills and knowledge to charge, you know, basically what the other people charge. And I just, you know, thought since I was newer, I shouldn't. Yeah, I replaced the guy's screen. And after I replaced it, he said, and I quote, Hey, man, I only have a dub. Is that okay? I'm like, um, you know, I don't know what the hell that means. So I'm like, you only have a what? Like, he said, yeah, I only have a dub, man. Is that, is that good? I'm like. Oh, uh, I'm like, what is that? He's like, I, I only got a hundred. I'm like, um, like, why didn't you tell me that beforehand? Like, why, why you wait till like after I replace your screen to tell you the man is really struggling? You know, just go back and forth. So right now in my current business right now, like, you know, my current state, you know, this is like months after the fact, I would have took the screen off his phone and just said, sorry, unfortunately, uh, you know, I have to get you the full price. But back then, I was just like, oh, okay, that, that, that that's fine. I'll just take 100 instead of 115 Like It was only like a $15. It was only like a $15 loss. And then, you know, it was another time where something similar happened. I replaced the guy's screen. And, you know, he was counting his money. He was like, oh, man, I'm like $10 short, man. Is that fine? I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. You know, just like, and just kept on moving. And then, you know, as people started asking for more and more discounts, you know, as I, it became more and more apparent that people started asking for more and more discounts. I'm like, Jesus, dude, this much people usually ask for discounts. And I found myself thinking, like, you know, I had to stop offering discounts. I can't, I obviously can't do this anymore. You know, if, if, if everyone asks for a discount, you know, and I gave it to them, I'd be out of business, you know, or everyone would know, oh, yeah, just ask him to just lower the price a little bit and he'll just lower the price. And oh, just go back to the video. I got the thing off. I just pushed it to the side and I'm trying to mix the solder. You know, I didn't want to wick it because it's such a tight area and I didn't want to, like, you know, accidentally knock off a component or something like that. But yeah, I'm just cleaning it and I'm about to put the new one on. But yeah, I do not offer discounts. But like, if you just ask for a discount, hey, yo, man, can you do X? Can you do X amount? Oh, yeah, can you do X amount? No, I, I, I just can't do it anymore. You know, the price is the price. And I charge what I charge for a reason. And, you know, if I just went down when everyone acts, like I said before, I'd just be quickly out of business. Or, you know, everyone would know, oh, yeah, if I just ask, he'll just lower the price. So for me personally now, the price is the price. You know, whatever I charge, that's usually what I'm going to stick with. And I'm usually not going to lower it. And even yesterday, literally yesterday, uh, this girl, she said she had an iPhone SE. And, you know, I went downstairs to come pick it up. And I looked at it, and I literally instantly noticed, yeah, this is an iPhone XR. And she was like, oh, well, how much would it be now? She was like, I was like, 120. She said, what the, 120? She said, can you just do 100? I'm like, 
what the f why why the fuck do people think i'm gonna just like cut my just, just lower the price by like 20 30 dollars just because you asked like that, that's insane i'm like no she says i might just buy a new phone for all of that i'm like well i don't know where you're gonna get an xr from for 120 and it's in working condition but i mean that's how you feel i, mean, I didn't say this but you know i was saying that in my head i'm like yeah well go ahead and then she was like yeah, can i have my phone back i was like yeah and i just told her if you ever need my services just call me again so yeah um First, I want to say the reason my prices are the way they are, you know, I want to offer a warranty, you know, screens cost money. You know, they aren't free. We don't just get them. We don't just, you know, we don't just farm the screens in a ranch. You know, we don't just grow them from any from like, you know, free materials on Earth. You know, we pay for them and that's how we get them. And, you know, in an event arise where, you know, I want to warranty a part and like my manufacturer says, oh, yeah, you know, you know, like you can't send that back or right? something else is wrong with it or it got water damage or something like that. I want to be able in certain situations to, you know, just eat the cost. Let's say the screen's like thirty dollars or something like that I want to be able to just eat the cost and still give you a warranty or in, or just have you pay for the screen in certain in certain uh, scenarios. It has been times where, like, you know, I've warranty someone device when I probably shouldn't have. And, you know, I did that because they paid a higher price then in order for me to do things like that later. In order for me to use good parts, people don't, I, I don't use trash stuff. I don't use the trash stuff on the market. Um, I use a good, high quality aftermarket screen. And the reason I'm able to do that is because of the price I'm charging. And a lot of people want the cheapest thing. And I tell people, you know, the cheapest is not always the best. A lot of people will like want to hear like, hear like, oh yeah, I'll replace your iPhone XR for like 70 bucks. But, you know, when you replace the screen and, you know, it drops and one, it, I said drops, it cracks and one drop or, you know, you know, it just randomly stopped working and ghost touches and you go back to the person you're like, oh, yeah, man, can you warranty? And they like, no, because, you know, if they do warranty, you know, they're probably not the type of person that's going to send it back or they do warranty. They're barely going to be making any money. So, you know, I charge more now. So if problems happen later, it can be covered. Um, good service. Uh, when people call me back and they like, oh, yeah. Even if they're scamming, they like, oh, yeah, man, this wasn't happening before. This wasn't an issue. And now after you replace my screen, I charge that much. So, you know, I can be, you know, have the time and I will want to. So, you know, I'm charging you for these things ahead of time. So I can just look at it, you know, even just without charging you. You know, if you say you have a problem that wasn't like that before, I'll look at it for free. And, then, you know, I charge you that beforehand. So, you know, I can do the work later for free. And, you know, a lot of people don't know what goes into the price. You know, these are all the things that go into the price. You know, the price is for me to innovate. You know, one of the things I charge what I charge is because I want to be able to learn new things and add new things to my business. So if people need any other services, you know, I can learn new things and new things will be added. And, of course, I have to live. You know, I have to eat. I have rent to pay. You know, I have things to do. I have a, a life I want to live that's outside of work. And, you know, I also have to charge based on that, you know. Like what I charge isn't just like, oh, yeah, just enough to keep my business afloat. You know, I also have to live on this as well. And the last one, of course, it has to be competitive. You know, I can't charge three hundred dollars for like an iPhone 11 screen replacement because no one would get it replaced by me because, you know, you could just go down a street for where it's like one twenty five. And this is a quick shout out to another business near me. In my opinion, is a place near me called Fruit Fix. I believe they do fantastic work from what I've heard. And they got great reviews. And I send people to them regularly, you know, because their pricing is fair. They have good service. They have good warranties. I send people to them all the time. If I can't do something, I'll be like, yo, go to Fruit Fix down the street. So, you know, it's enough to be competitive. I send people to them all the time. Like, if I can't do something, like back when I didn't know how to do HDMI ports, I would send people to them all the time. Like, yo, can you do HDMI ports? I'm like, nah, but the people of Fruit Fix, like, that's near me, they can do that. They're pretty good at it, and they have good reviews, and they have good service. And, you know, I send people to them all the time. So, you know, you got to be comp The price has got to be competitive, and, you know, you got to factor in a lot more things that people don't really care about. Now, I do offer discounts for certain things. One of the things, if you're a teacher, you know, I believe teachers and professors, you know, if you teach at any place, I believe teaching is probably one of the most underappreciated jobs in the world. And especially in America, I believe it's so underappreciated. So, you know, I offer discounts to them just to show, you know, like you are appreciated, you are cared for. And, you know, there's a there's also a teacher shortage. So, you know, I also like that's another reason why I do it. You know, I wanted to show people that they're appreciated. You know, uh, this lady actually called me and. I need to try to advertise it more that I give teachers a discount. And I found out she was a teacher when we was talking. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll offer teachers a discount. And she was like, oh, yeah, really? She was like, why? And I told her, like, yeah, I just felt y'all super underappreciated. And, you know, that's why I do it. And, you know, she was really happy. And she actually tipped me because of that. I was like, which kind of negated, you know, kind of negated the discount. But, you know, it was just funny. But, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, offer teachers a discount, offer military discount, which is self-explanatory. You know, you're laying your life down for the country. You know, why not? Offer military or your family have someone in your family that's doing it. Yeah, so offer military discounts. That should be pretty self-explanatory. I want to offer janitors a discount, but because you know janitors is one of the most another one of those under underappreciated jobs. Like without them, we just live in a fucking filthy post apocalyptic. I can't even say the word post apocalyptic. I don't know why I couldn't say that word fast. Society, it'll be dirt everywhere. Your place will be filthy. People will be forced to clean their own messes. So they're very appreciated to me. And I wish it was some way. I don't know how they would prove that they work somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to like look into that. Maybe someone can give me some advice on, you know. But just go back to the video real quick. I was getting really mad right here because I cannot put it on properly. Uh, if you have any advice on how to put that on properly, please comment below. Because like I said, this is something I'm new to doing. This is the first FPC connector I replace. And I want to get one of the janitors. And I'm going to rage quit in a second so the video is going to cut off abruptly. But, yeah. And you get a discount if you're getting more than one thing done at once. You know, if you're getting, like, eight things done at once, of course I'm going to lower the price because you're getting so much things done at once. If you're a regular customer, I give you a discount. I see you coming here a lot for different things. Of course I'll give you a discount. And those are the only times I offer a discount. And, you know, if it's not none of that, everyone just has to pay the price, you know, um, uh, just for the reasons I stated below. And I feel like, you know, if you're open to business, you got to be firm on your price. You can't just give a discount to someone just when they ask because, you know, people are going to know the word's going to get around. Like, oh, yeah, you can just ask them for $20 less, you know, and he'll just do it. But, you know, uh, hopefully that was a good rant. Uh, I'm about to rage quit here in a second. The video about the end. So and, you know, me talking is about the end, too. So if you have any advice, please put it below. And, you know, hopefully the discount question, hopefully somebody learns something new. That's the point of the videos or help somebody else. And, yeah, everybody have a good day and be blessed.